Hi YouTube family, I am back with you today on Montessori Dictionary to talk to you about a very simple but very fun and easy activity to implement at home. We are going to be talking about pegging. I know you're thinking, oh come on, pegging? What is there to learn about pegging? But I'm going to show you the right way to present it to children and also the benefits we're going to talk about that children get from this simple activity. While you may look at it as very simple, having worked with children for over 20 years now, they are drawn to this activity. They always come back and we work with this over and over again. So at the end, I'm going to give you some ideas on how to vary it up your pegging activity. But first, let me show you how we present a pegging activity the Montessori way. Nita, today we're going to learn how to do pegging. This is the mat, this is the basket, and these are the pegs. Watch me first, then I'll give you a turn to try. Nita, would you like to try? Okay, Nita, so today you've learned how to do pegging. You can take this and use it whenever you like. Would you like to put it back on the shelf? So you saw how we present a pegging activity the Montessori way. Now let's talk about some of the benefits that come from this material. If you see, when we have to use the peg, we are using, it, it takes a lot of uh, strength for little fingers to be able to push this open and close. And the fingers that they're using to do this are the same fingers they use for their pencil. We call this the pincer grip. So they're strengthening that pincer grip so when it's time for them to write, their hands are absolutely ready. I had talked about this in a previous video about spooning and had uh, listed, uh, uh, explained why strengthening the fingers are so important. I will link that video in the description and I'll also add a link to the video right above here so you can click and watch it. They are coordinating their eyes and their hands which also will help them in their writing skills they are building their fine motor skills when we put the pegs on the basket we start from the left and we move towards the right we go this way this is helping them to build up skills towards language which is left to right movement when we remove it we also must start again from the left so we remove it starting from the left and we move towards the right. Now if the children make the mistake and don't do it that way, it's not a big deal, but this is something you as a teacher or a parent must do. Sometimes what I see our children doing is they will pick up the pegs and they peg them onto each other. This is very fun for them and they want to make a long chain and it goes on. It's fine. It's a good idea to allow them to explore the material in creative ways. It shows you that your child is able to think out of the box. Now, once your child is, you know, mastered this activity, they've mastered this activity, what do we do? They still enjoy pegging. How can we keep bringing them back to it, let them enjoy the benefits and the activity as well, making it more challenging even sometimes? You can introduce uh, a patterning activity. So you ask them to do a simple AB pattern which is blue, orange, blue, orange or whatever colors you have. You can change the pegs to wooden pegs. Those are slightly harder to use. You can stick numbers, okay, laminate a paper with a number 1 up to 10 and stick it over here and the children have to line it up. You can put letters of the alphabet and the children can build simple words together. Uh, using the pegs. You can ask them to peg 
make a, a short clothing line in your you know area outdoor area and the children can peg simple napkins easy to hang things what you may see as a boring activity is actually really fun for them even when they do painting you can ask them to hang it up on a washing line sort of thing uh, using the pegs these things are fun for them from here you can take them into paper clips using papers to put paper clips and attach the papers together when your child is older you can even teach them the use of a stapler in a safe way um, making sure that the child is at least above five you can introduce them to different kinds of clips as um, opposed to the paper clips there are many different kinds of clips that they can use so i hope you've gotten some ideas on how to uh, make pegging exciting and how to present it the right way at home i look forward to seeing you again please do hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get the notifications and i look forward to seeing you again until we meet again have a beautiful day